So we know in Namibia and Africa, lions have used to be all across, all over Africa, in Namibia as well. But a lot of the studies we've noticed is they're always a bit, always big Southern Africa or African lion studies on a genetic scale. But nobody's, to our knowledge, nobody's really taken the time to, to look at just the Namibian side. So what we've done is we've collected with our collaborators all these samples of the lions to try and look at purely a landscape genetics approach of how these lions are mixing to, to match one another. And we have been finding out quite some interesting results of how we, a barrier that we expected between Itosha and the Northeast to exist. And we've also supported this by going a bit into the history of how the farm and the land uses have changed and how the line habit um, distribution have changed over the past hundred years. Um, that basically um, corresponded with our results. It was quite interesting in comparison to the Northwest where we have these barriers of, or no barriers of lions being able to move from Hobotero all the way to the coast. So basically Tosha all the way to the coast where they can still mix like that. And we've actually still seen that uh, this year, surprisingly, where there was a collared lion that walked all the way to Etendeka from Hobotero area. So that was also quite interesting to see and with the genetics supporting that. And so what we, the big question of course with the lions is we see that we've got, because we have genetic results unlike the Highlands project, uh, we see a lot of diversity in the Northeast that has been cut off from the Northwest. And so now we can actually provide information towards um, the ministry who needs to make management plan decisions on how, on what, how best they, or that they have to consider these options for um, somehow uh, coming up with a plan to mix the high diversities, the low diversities and obviously back again, because you have to keep that natural flow uh, consistent as, as that very much seems like a, a big impact by human factors, uh, which, which would not have it happen in the past, or geological factors is also not present in that area. Yeah, so, so those are very interesting questions that we can look at to try and answer uh, using the type of work that we do here, considering different species, and most importantly, the type of questions uh, we have and want answered. Uh, I think that's the most important thing when one tries to embark on this, uh, on any research and population specifically as well, having uh, room to play in. You know.